Hey, it's another Slate Vlog. I'm here with my friend Kelsey. Kelsey, tell them what the vlog's about today. That she's a jean jacket. No. <laughs> Five vocal recording tips. Yes. <laughs> Tip one is mic technique. Now, you're going to hear a lot of people say that you have to be X amount of inches from a certain microphone. That is all horse shit. Don't listen to that. It all depends on the microphone, the performer, and the performance. Some microphones have a really big proximity effect, and if the singer already has a lot of bass in his or her voice, you might want to back them up a little bit. Uh, if you have an intimate song and you want that really close, in-your-face kind of uh, vocal sound, you want to you know, get them closer to the mic. But it really depends on the song, the performer, and the mic. You know, some mics already have so much bottom end that backing them up is, is part of the technique that's going to get you the sound you want. Also, of course, there's that kind of manual compression about instructing the singer to slightly move back and forth depending on how loud the vocal passage is. Now, having said all that, I do recommend with a very dynamic part to use a very slight amount of vocal compression on the way in. You do not want to overdo this. I'm talking two, three, four dB tops because one of the biggest things I hear mixers say is that tracks come in over compressed and it's very hard to undo over compression but a little bit to help control a dynamic vocal can go a long way. Tip number two, getting a perfect vocal balance in the singer's headphones. Now nine out of ten times if you ask a singer how their headphone balance is, they're gonna either say, oh, it's perfect, or they're gonna say, turn my vocals way up. And what usually happens is it's instinctual for vocalists to want to have their vocal really loud in the phones. And then what happens, of course, their intonation is all over the place. So really work with them. Take the phones, listen to their balances. You know, get, you know, pl play around with the different music and, and vocal balances and get to something where they really are singing perfectly in tune, where they're comfortable. It might take a few takes. You know, do, do a few takes until you, you know, find that balance that's really working for them. And, and, and step in, make sure they don't, you know, try to push their vocal too far above the music. It's one of the number one reasons why you have intonation problems. It's not always the singer's fault, although sometimes it is. Vocal tip number three, finding the right microphone. Now this might seem obvious, but it's not just about finding the right microphone for the singer's voice. It's finding the right microphone for the singer's voice that fits the mood and production of the song. Kelsey might sound really good through a really bright, airy microphone, but if she's singing a 70s style Adele tune, it's not gonna fit. So that's why I recommend auditioning the singer on different mics in the track you were recording. You know, not just, you know, solo. You really want to audition the vocalist in a certain mic with the mix that you're, you know, recording to, to make sure everything fits and the mood fits, the production fits. Uh, and that's also why uh, products like Virtual Microphone System are such a handy creative tool because obviously you can audition different microphones without ever having to swap cables. Uh, obviously you don't have to buy multiple microphones. And then even in the mix, you can fine tune your selection uh, without having to re-record stuff. Tip four, pay attention to your vocal recording environment. We're here in a kind of dead control room. Uh, vocals sound really good recorded right in this room, but you might be in a smaller space that could be echoey, could have some room resonances, and you might need to put some baffling up or some foam up or some of the many vocal isolation products, but experiment, figure out what works best in your environment and spend some time with it. The results will be worth it. Tip number five, setting the right vibe to get the best performance out of your vocalist. Now this is not something that should be taken lightly. In fact, I think this is one of the things that separates the best vocal producers from the rest. They can get a sense of what needs to be done to get the best vibe in the studio so they can get that great performance. Sometimes it's something as simple as lighting. Sometimes it's just talking to them before the performance and going through the lyrics. Sometimes it's getting them a certain drink or just a certain place in the studio. All of these things matter because singing is such an emotional performance. So don't skimp on this. Work with your vocalist, get it right. Again, the results will be worth it. Okay, so I went over some mic technique with Kelsey. Uh, we have a perfect vocal balance in her headphones. We chose the VMS FG37A after auditioning several microphones, and we found that it's not only great on her voice, but it's great for the song and production. We're in our dry control room here. The vocal is nice and focused, so the environment sounds great. And we have it nice and bright and open in here. The vibe is perfect. Kelsey, you ready? I'm ready. Let's record. <laughs> yes, now. Look at me. I just can't believe what they done to me. We could never get free. I just want to be. Look at me. I just can't believe what they done to me. We could but never get free.
guys, I hope you enjoyed watching and make sure you hit subscribe. Look at me, I just can't believe what they done to me.